biological mace of Ninurta, Shar-Ur. Shar-Ur, which means Smasher of Thousands, is the weapon and symbol of the god Ninurta. Sumerian mythic sources describe it as an enchanted talking mace. It has been suggested as a possible precursor for similar objects in other mythology, such as Arthurian lore. Shar-Ur plays a prominent role in an incident in which Ninurta is described as using it to defeat Azag, who is said to be a monstrous demon. Shar-Ur has the power to fly across vast distances without impediment, and it also communicates with its wielder. This myth receives its most complete treatment in the epic Lugal-e, which in English is rendered as the exploits of Ninurta, O Warrior King. According to this text, shar Ur's role in the battle is not only as a weapon, it provides crucial intelligence to the hero, acting as an emissary between the god Enlil and Ninurta, and relating to him the former's will, including a command to slay the architect of Kur, a primeval serpent venerated in Babylon as well as a strategy to defeat Asag. Kur is associated with mountains and the primordial elements, but also with the underworld, of which the great mountains are said to have entrances. Apart from its aforementioned ability to fly and communicate with its wielder, Shar-Ur may also take the form of a winged lion, a common motif in Sumerian and Akkadian lore. In the tale of Lugal Banda, he meets a winged lion named Anzu, who had left its children in its nest. The Anzu bird also grants him the power to cover vast distances. But in another tale, the Anzu bird actually possesses Lugal Banda and creates his lineage here on Earth. Meaning he is the father of Gilgamesh in his meat suit known as Lugal Banda. This tale is actually of the Fallen One, so what I am suggesting here is that Ninurta, son of Enlil, and Enlil, formerly known as Mul-Lil, who also had female form, was in fact Zu, who had also taken the role and attributes of Mul-Lil and Bel. It is possible that Ninurta is actually Zu in human form. For example, possession. Uniting and assimilating them all under a one god religion. Much like a net, by laying out the epithets over time and then hooking them all together at a later date. Why would they do this? If you have many versions of the same god, scattered around the earth, eventually most people would believe the most consistent elements, resulting in a one god religion. This is a quote from Freemasonry, the inevitability of gradualness. I do hope you understand that.
The image of a sag, Tiamat, is none other than the Anzu bird, who is the true father of the brood of Chaos. Chaos is a storm, and Anzu is the storm god. And if Enlil is Zu, then it is quite possible that Ninurta is one of his many vessels. In the beginning, Enki had no form. It would be the same for Enlil, meaning their lineage on Earth can only happen via possession, which turns Zu and the Anunnaki into a parasite of mankind, the root of all evil. Hit that notification bell to ensure that you are notified of each upload. Share, like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. For more Ancient Mysteries.